What's going on everybody, it's The Assassin, and today we're gonna be installing uh, the handbrake setup for the MT-07. Now, I've already taken apart the bike for the most part that needed to be. Um, let me show you everything that I have. So, what I have is the uh, MT-09 caliper, I got the Extreme Creations uh, bracket, I know it's a little dark, let me do this for you. Okay, yeah, I got the Extreme Creations bracket, I've kind of already tried putting the bike together and I noticed something was off, and I'll talk about that in here in a second. <clears throat> also have a Brembo um, RCS-17. Uh, lever, I know it's not supposed to go here. I'm gonna switch it around, pull this forward more. I just wanted to put it here to see what it looked like. Um, got the MT-09 caliper for the handbrake, um, but I'm gonna be switching the pads out for the ZBC um, centered brake pads. Reservoir, standard stuff, 80 inch Coromoto line. So yeah, let me talk about this uh, oversized bracket here so as you can see bolts are in here these are the stock bolts to the bike to the mt07 that hold in the oem uh, disc now the problem i had with these um is that these bolts wouldn't fully go through the caliper all the way or not the caliper the disc all the way and so as you can see here hopefully I can uh, get it in focus the this little shoulder bolt I think is what it's called um, this little section was just too just too big a little bit for the uh, the 09 disc that I got so what I had to do is and apparently not everybody will have to do this if you run this setup I had to take it to a machine shop here in town and they I left them the bolts and the discs so they could measure it right and they shrink the shoulders down just a little bit. So um, I don't know if that's safe. And if it's not, well, hopefully the bike doesn't fucking, uh, I hope I don't fucking lose my entire rear end one day. So yeah, so that's what I had to do. And like I said, not everybody will have to do this because my friend Bryce, who so kindly has been helping me basically with the entirety of this build on my bike. <clears throat> I'll put his uh, his Instagram here somewhere or and also in the description. But um, I told him about this and he said he didn't have that problem. He said his his bolts, yes, were causing the caliper to or not the caliper, the disc to like be offset from the wheel just a smidge. But he said it didn't it didn't cause him any problems well uh mine didn't go through at all so i had to resort to this plug in the speed sensor right here i've already done that and yeah so let's go ahead and put this bigger disc this oversized disc on the bike oh yeah they are nice and snug oh yeah that's what i like to see now from looking at this, I don't think it matters how you put this on the bike. It's gonna sit the same either way. Okay, wheel is on. Now, just need to reattach the caliper. I'm actually gonna put it right there. By the way, your stock caliper bolt <clears throat> is uh, a 14 millimeter up here, 
And then the Allen head one is a six millimeter. Wanted to put the foot brake on just so I can have an idea of how everything sits. And I've kind of already showed this stuff before, taking off the wheel, taking off the brake and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is um, readjust the chain. I've showed that before. It's not hard. Um, it's not the point to this video. So I'm gonna readjust the chain, get everything nice and tight and then see if things are still moving like they are. And I'll get back with you. <coughs> Got the wheel put back together. Got the uh, MT-09 caliper on there. Like I said, you will have to go get these bolts, um, your mounting bolts from like Ace or something like that. Your, any, your local hardware store will have it, or hopefully it should. Um, the bolts I got, the head was a 17 millimeter. Um, I can't remember what like the pitch was or anything like that. But, you know, when you get all this, take the bracket and the caliper to your local hardware store and just try to fit it all in and make sure it goes all the way in because I was told that these brackets strip very easily. So now the next thing I need to do is route the lines. Let me grab it real quick. So it does come with, as you can see, a 10 millimeter um, bolt. That's a 1.25 pitch and then a 1.0 pitch. The 1.25 is for here. The master that's up here somewhere already came with its own uh, banjo bolt and everything. So, let's see. And this line is steel braided 80 inch core moto line. Doesn't look that big all rolled up, but check it out, damn son. So the easiest way to do this obviously would be for the most part route it through your original like line holders for everything and then you'll have to start routing it like through and up here and everything and around all this your shock and all that and then eventually bring it up to your master so let me figure out how i'm going to do that and i'll come back okay so uh brakes are not flushed or bled i mean but I do have the line. Now this is how I ran the line. So from the master, I ran it through the um, the OEM placement for the speed sensor and the foot brake line. Ran that, then ran it up above this connector. So it's up above here. I do want to take this off and zip tie it in a couple spots so it is uh, secure, at least back here. So runs behind this little section of the frame runs up over this part of my cage and then I have it meet up with the clutch line. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to kick the stand. Meets up the clutch line. Comes up and then under the crossbar here. And then I have it, what I need to do is I wanna cut this so this isn't in the way. I am going to do that today, um, but comes up through here, then runs over the radiator. I don't know if this will be bad or not. Um, I guess we'll find out. Runs over the radiator, comes up under the uh, bottom triple tree and over these two lines right here. Then I have it snake up through behind the fork to the master. And so far from what I could tell, there was no pinching or binding or anything. So it does seem to be all good and whatnot. Man, it does look badass though, having uh, having two levers. So excited about it. I just gotta bleed the brakes, which uh, I'm not looking forward to. But quick note I wanna add in. If you are running Pro Taper CR highs, Reroute and you have a one finger clutch or any uh, RC, you know, RSC clutch, reroute your cable line. So the way it used to come up, it would come up down here and you know, in between the fork, meet up here at this point, and then would come over the triple tree and meet here. The problem with that was if I turn the bar all the way to the right, it would pinch it. You can tell just right here, it's, it's moving it. 
but because I rerouted it, there's a lot more free play in it and it doesn't get caught up right here anymore. So quick, quick little note, I just wanted to add in. If you're running CR highs, you should definitely do that on the MT-07. Okay, haven't bled the brakes yet, but like I said, I had to do a few other things. One of those things was had to fabricate my own little uh, bracket here for the reservoir. And I don't know why, but I've been told that having it loop around your bars to the reservoir helps with the ble with bleeding and helps uh, stop any air bubbles, I guess you could say, from getting in here. So, yeah, but... Almost done bleeding the brakes. So I'll stand over here, and as you can tell, there's already some feel to them. And this time lapse could have been 20 seconds for you, it's been about 45 minutes for me. And they are touchy already. It's pretty firm as it is, but. Yeah, just want to do a quick update. Pretty much now the brakes are done. You've seen me fiddle with them for the past 20, 30 seconds. And uh, yeah, the only thing left to do is that for me is to kind of finish everything up, do the final maintenance stuff for it, you know, bleed it a few more times. And what I want to do is zip tie it to the handlebars, like as fully compressed as I can get it. Let's sit there for an hour or two and uh, call it good. Okay, everybody, that'll do it for the handbrake install. Which right here, you can see a zip tie. The reason I did that is to, you know, kind of just like set everything in place. I'm gonna leave it here probably for the next couple hours. And then here in a little bit, I'm gonna test ride it um, to make sure that everything is working good. So yeah, got it looped around. Like I said, um, I've been told that that helps it from any air bubbles getting in there. It kind of keeps them in a certain area. But yeah, just a quick overview, overview real quick of what I got. It is kind of dark outside. Sorry about the lighting, I'll bump it up in editing. But we got the Extreme Creations bracket for the oversized handbrake setup, which is an MT-09 front disc. I also got the MT-09 front right caliper i believe made it easier for bleeding because the nipples facing this way um kept the stock foot brake which was nice um what else core motor lines that's all i run really um had to get my own mounting bolts for the uh, mt09 caliper back here and yeah like i said ran it through kind of brought it up I'll zip tie it later like I said I would but I'll do that later on everything is good for right now ran it through made it come up out here snaked it through over here ran it behind the fork over here into the master and yeah so I believe that'll do it thank y'all so much for watching hope y'all have a beautiful night day evening whatever it is but yeah that'll uh that'll do it Sassin' out.